All right, so I'm not really going to sugarcoat this. I had, like, the biggest low yesterday. And it came in the form of, like, after I got home. Because, like, I love living in my apartment building, but there, but it's not without its problems. And one of them is, like, occasionally, like, the plumbing will get messed up and stuff. So... I'm just, I'm not going to say anymore. I'm just going to leave it at that. But trust me, it's not pretty. Let's just say for like the entire night, I almost couldn't use my bathroom. It was pretty bad. Um, My high was I got to, you know, talk to my dad yesterday. It was really nice. And I did get to talk a little bit to my mom. Even though it had to do with, um you know, the problem I was having last night. And my act of kindness was I ran a couple errands for for someone. You know, an acquaintance of mine, nothing nothing out of the ordinary, but I was happy to do it, so you know, there we go. So with that out of the way, good morning and happy Tuesday everyone. Uh I mean, there's a few, I mean, thankfully we're starting to get into the part of the week where, you know, we get to America's Got Talent and then things start beginning to fall into place a little bit. Oh, right, another low that I had was also the fact, like, on Sunday I went to get cards for, you know, all the father figures in my family. You know, obviously one would be my grandfather on my father's side. And... I wound up getting him a birthday card instead. It was literally in the Father's Day section. Why is there a birthday card there? I don't know. It was just so, so weird. But I'll go to the store today and get another card. And who knows? Maybe I'll probably keep the card I have for um for him and use it on his birthday next year or something. I don't know. I have to. I'll play that one by ear. Uh, let's see, what else is going on this week? Oh, good news. I actually know who this week's Hot Ones guest is. And it's someone I really do know because I actually watched the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It is Elizabeth Olsen. Yes, the, um, the actress who plays Scarlet Witch in the MCU, she is going to be in uh, Hot Ones this Thursday. And... I mean, I'm really glad that she's made, like, a full-on name for herself as an actress. Just simply because if you know her family, then you know that she is the older sister of Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. The, um... Do I want to call them infamous? A part of me kind of does, but I don't, because... They've done stuff that's kind of annoying, but I really wouldn't go so far as say it's been, like, you know, bad, I guess. I mean, for those of you who don't know, Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen, there was a time where, like, they ruled the entire world. Like, there are all sorts of, like, you know, twins-related media, movies, um, oh, TV shows. I mean, it started way back when they were on a Full House, which, I mean, I remember liking Full House. I get why it's bad now. It's actually the main reason why I haven't really watched Fuller House, which, pretty obvious, I didn't want to, I mean, I remember the cinemas now I'm doing like a watch through of like every season of Fuller House. And he is, like, not having it by the end. Needless to say, I am I have no desire to watch that show. I mean, if Full House is on, maybe I'll stick by and watch. I'm not really that into it, though. I don't really, really want to be. I mean, don't get me wrong. Some actors on the original Full House I liked. I mean, pretty much... You know, Dave Couillet, John Stamos, and Bob Saget. Those three are pretty cool. 
And like, huh. You know what's funny? The Nostalgia Critic once did a, um, an episode about Full House where, you know, he talked about it a little bit. And he came to the conclusion that Mary Kate and Ashley also are the devil. <laughs> no, it's so funny. If I remember correctly, it was like, by all accounts, every person on that show is a good actor or comedian in their own right. So why is this show so bad? And then, like, it gets to Mary Kate Nasty Olsen, and he does, like, weird editing stuff to, like, you know, devil's laughter and, you know, manipulating mouth movements, editing, stuff like that, where, like, like, a horns out of her head, stuff like that. It was so funny at the time. I mean, yeah. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Sorry. Like, it was a really old episode of Nostalgia Critic. Like, this was before the first time he went, like, on a break to do Demo Reel, I believe. This was quite, like, like, 2000. 9, 2010, I think. You know, I'm going to look that up. Hold on. Nostalgia Critic Episodes. Yes. There have been, like, so many, um... There have been so many episodes of the Nostalgia Critic that, like, there's even their own, like, Wikipedia page about it. It's unbelievable. Um... I can find it, that is. Uh. Oh. I'm looking at that. Holy cow. He's done 536 episodes. Neat. I wonder. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't try to make a crazy risk like that. I was going to say, hmm. I wonder who's going to reach... The bigger number first. Am I going to reach 10,000 days? Or is he going to reach 1,000 episodes? Who knows? I mean, I'm sure there's going to be like... He'll definitely reach 1,000 episodes before I reach 10,000 days. He'll be close, though. I'm positive it'll be... Okay, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. See, uh... Okay, so the first year he did it, he did not talk about Full House. Okay. What about 2009? Okay. Uh huh. Okay, so 63 episodes in, he talked about Full House. Okay. So. I can just see what he thought about it. Come on. Okay, here it is. Alright, so... So he started the thing off by saying how painful it was to watch... Like, it, like the early TGIF show... And he hoped that people appreciate, like, what it did. Basically, for those who don't know, TGIF means, thank goodness, it's Friday. And, you know, you had, like, popular shows you could watch on Friday night. So, help you look forward to the weekend, you know? Which is actually really cool. He applauded, you know... <laughs> yeah, he pretty much applauded characters like Bob Saget for, like, the comedians that they were. But he hated the character they played on the show, along with the others. Um, yeah, so, he literally thought, like, overall, it was never funny or clever or endearing, and in the end, the demonic Olsen twins appear and torture the critic. That's what happened. Okay. <laughs> you know, looking back on it... Even back when I watched, like, Full House when it was on. And keep in mind, I didn't actively seek it out. I just happened to be on when I was watching TV. 
I have to agree with the critic. I never really thought it was funny. Or clever. Or... Okay, maybe it was a little bit endearing. Because I do remember they did try and touch, it, touch on some, you know, pretty big issues. Like, you know, single parent lifestyle. You know, the concept of, like, parents hitting your kids. Stuff like that. I mean, I'm not going to go so far as to say it was completely not endearing at all. Because that's not true. There are definitely some decent things about it that I'm sure looking back, a lot of people can appreciate. But as for me, like, if Full House is on, I'm just going to change the channel. <laughs> Luckily, though, it was just the Olsen twins, not Elizabeth Olsen, who was this week's guest on Hot Ones. Although, in a way, it's kind of funny. When the Nostalgia Critic did his episode of Full House, he basically again used the editing to make the demonic Olsen twins appear and torture children. In a way, when Elizabeth Olsen plays Scarlet Witch in the MCU, she uses her abilities to torture the bad guys. <laughs> and, well, if I... And keep in mind, I'm not a comic book nerd by any stretch of the imagination. I'm a nerd, just not a full-on comic book nerd. I think, like, Scarlet Witch's abilities involve, like, manipulating probability and luck, I think, is what it does. Oh well, yeah, well, keep in mind, originally she was supposed to be, she's an X-Men, but, you know, MCU and copyright stuff back in the day, I mean, man, why do I have, like, gee, see, this entire time it felt like I had, like, a tear in my eye, like, like, you know how sometimes, like, your, like, your eye on the side gets, like, wet and you don't know why? Like, I'm not even sad or anything. Like, I'm literally just sitting here trying to, you know, talk about stuff. Um. Great, now I just lost my train of thought. Wonderful. Uh. Also, keep in mind, I don't have Disney+, Plus, so I haven't seen WandaVision, or The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, or Loki. I haven't really seen any. Seriously, I really have not seen a movie in theaters since before the pandemic, when I saw the movie Onward, which I'm sure is probably on Disney+. Plus. I mean, I don't know. I mean, thanks to the pandemic... It's funny I'm saying thank you to the pandemic for this, but I kind of got myself in a routine where, you know, like, I'm just sort of, like, stuck. In, not a rut. If I was stuck in a rut, I would be like, guys, I'm in a rut. I need help. Do something. No, honestly, it's just, like, a routine where I don't really need to go out and do stuff as much as I want to. I mean, don't get me wrong. I want to be able to do it at some point. I mean... If I get the okay that, like, it's okay to do it, I will. I mean, I've been giving the okay, but you guys know at this point, you know, the whole thing about seeing my nephews and everything. So, yeah, the government can say it's okay, but unless I get the word from, you know, the supreme authority in all the land, a.k.a. my mother. Yeah, I had to say, like, my mother. <laughs> It's just not funny to say like that, you know? But yes, until I get the okay from my mom, I'd rather not risk anything. It's probably not even worth it. Although, I mean, I've gone out a couple of places. I mean, I've gone to the Switch, I guess, but that's, that's really about it. Anyway, right now, I'm just going to uh, get my morning started carry on the rest of my day, you know, there's a few videos I watch throughout the day, yeah, that's another good thing about Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, like, when, because I watch a lot of YouTube videos, and the stuff I'm subscribed to usually comes out around this time of the week, so, yeah, I've got that to look forward to, so, it'll be, uh, it'll be nice. 
Like, favorite, share, and subscribe, and follow me on social media platforms, training, and YouTube. I am very homely in this video. For all you guys are watching, Joe, for the name of the wonderful, wonderful Tuesday. Remember, you guys want to talk, the channel is going to be here to let you know. I'll always be back. Take care and make good choices. See ya.